You know, we know a thing or two about artificial intelligence, <laughs> or lack thereof, around here. But here, with the scoop on what AI actually is and how to use it, please welcome the editor-at-large at Tech Radar, Lance Ulanoff. Hey, Lance. Hey, Lance. <laughs> All right, teach us what we need to know about AI. So AI is sort of com supercharged computing. It's technology that learns and knows, it seemingly knows everything. It knows how to talk to you. It knows how to create with you. It knows how to summarize for you, figure out problems. It can make your life better. And by the way, it's everywhere. Okay. Literally everywhere. Like Computers, where? phones, what? around you, being used all the time. So when I say my phone is listening to me, it actually is listening to me? Only if you're me? talking to it and you want it to listen to No, you. but right. uh, we have private conversations and suddenly an ad for what we were discussing will pop up that's on definitely my phone. A, that's a different segment, but absolutely okay. I can tell you why that's happening. All right, how can, how can it help you improve your letter writing? All right, so, you know, not all of us are great communicators, right? And sometimes you have to, you know, you want to communicate something difficult, right? You want to be able to basically put your point across, but you don't want to do the work of figuring out how to be a great writer. So let's I just make sure we're on it. Yes. All right. So here's a letter I wrote because there's a tree between my house and my neighbor's house, and I'd like to remove it. <laughs> and maybe you just wrote it like this, this tree behind the house. But this is not really well written. And the thing is... Oh, you, you don't think that's well written? It's not that's well written. tree that's between but our houses. I wonder if you'd be all right with me cutting it up. Virtually all of these AIs, everything from ChatGPT, Gemini, Apple Intelligence, they can all help you improve your writing skills. Okay. And basically, it's what they said. So we have options here. We can have a proofread. We can have it rewrite. We can have it be friendly in tone, professional, concise. Let's just make it professional. Imagine if a lawyer had written this, all right? Immediately, I would like to inquire about the possibility of cutting down. And it goes, you know, that sounds very professional. It might scare your neighbor, especially if you want to be a little bit more friendly with them. So what if so we... Wait, what are you What, are what you am I doing? On? So writing tools? Writing tools. So here's something we could do. What if we wanted to... The prompt would be funny. Okay. All right? So now we're trying to make light of the situation. <laughs> the tree that's been playing referee between our houses. I was thinking about giving a little haircut. I mean, you're being clever, but you're not being clever. The AI is figuring out, because one of the things that artificial intelligence understands is, what's the next word? How should a sentence be put together, and what style do you want? That's funny. Very, very easy to do for all kinds of writing. Writing papers, writing big documents, summarizing documents. It is a master at doing these things, and it's all mostly on your phone. What about AI, like, what if AI makes a mistake? Well, AI can do something called hallucinate. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. And that is when it presents something that sounds very factual, which is in fact not. One of the examples I've seen is where it said eight days a week something could happen. There are only seven days still. But also, if you ask, a lot of people ask AI about medical questions, you can't 100% trust it's going to give you the best advice. The best advice is going to be coming from a doctor. Sure. So please go to the doctor after you've checked with ChatGPT or one like, of them. Like, shouldn't AI tell you that off the bat? Tell you what? Shouldn't AI tell you that off the bat? Like, if you... It, I you, feel like you, AI owes us a service. When your mom, say, uh, uh, Google something from AI medically, I feel like AI should say, okay, put your phone down and call a doctor. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what? Most of them will say, Check with your medical professionals. Okay. So they do include right. that. How do we use this for our photos? All right, so let's, let's talk about this lovely photo of a beautiful couple. And so many of us have taken pictures like this where it's the perfect image. Who's except, that guy in the back? Except for the problem in the back, right? <laughs> there's a guy, this there's a dog. This problem has been in the back for a long time. Okay, <laughs> so this, this is incredibly easy, and this is, you know, this is not like Photoshop where you have to have skill. You don't need skill. You're just tapping buttons here. You're tapping the cleanup button, and immediately, guess what it found? There's the problem. It found... Oh, it finds the problem? It, so it's... So I'm also going to say, let's get rid of the dog. I'm going to swipe over the dog no. with my finger. Okay. The dog disappears. Watch how easily I can make Gelman disappear. <laughs> Boom. Wow. Woo! And you see the flowers going out of the back of your head, Mark? Yeah. I'm going to get rid of those. Oh, because wow. those should not be there. 
all right? Huh. And the one out of the back of Kelly's head. Let me get right out of that. And also this sash, Kelly, I'm gonna just take that away. And then finally, Mark, this watch, I want me. it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now it's not perfect, but you can see on the background, if someone didn't look, there's a dog foot there. I'm gonna get rid of that yeah, too. And there's a the foot of Gelman back there. Yeah. But it's Leave creating a background that it could not see. That is artificial intelligence at work. Can you wow. get rid of Gelman in real life? Not me oh. specifically. Oh. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. You don't want to do I that. Don't do that. Don't get rid no. of him. No. Oh, okay. Leave me here. Not... No. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm shy. <laughs> it worked out exactly how we rehearsed it. All right, we're going to take a break. Lance will show us how AI can make a meal of anything in your refrigerator when we come back. Stick around. We're back with Lance Rudolph. He's giving us a lesson in AI. Lance, tell us how AI can help in the kitchen. All right, how many times have you done this where you open your fridge and you stand there staring at everything in it? I don't know what to make for right. dinner. Well, let's take a picture of what's in here. And now we're going to open up. We're gonna open up one of our AI uh, apps here. This is ChatGPT, and we're going to add the photo that we just took, all right? So we'll add that photo, okay. and then we're gonna go here, and we're gonna actually say it. What can I make, what can I make with this? All right, so now, hit that. So immediately, what's gonna happen here is it's gonna analyze everything that's in the fridge, and it says, how about some garlic lemon chicken with spinach yogurt sauce and roasted tomatoes? All the ingredients are here. All the instructions are here. But the important thing is, it's based on what you have. So it's not saying, oh, you know, here's a good recipe. Now head out to the store. Right. You just looked in here and used AI to analyze everything in there and come up with a recipe that you can make right now. All right, we're going to go to break with more AI come, when we come back. We're back with Lance Mulanoff. There's more. We have much to learn about AI. Yes, can uh, Lance, if you're lonely, can AI be your friend? <laughs> well, so many of there are so many different platforms, by the way. ChatGPT, Copilot, Gemini, Perplexity, Claude AI. There are a ton of them, and many of them have free versions, and many of them can chat with you in a voice, a voice of your choosing, in fact. So we're just gonna talk to Gemini. Uh, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I'm excited to dive into some creative I'm, brainstorming I'm sitting with you. here. I'm sitting here with two very intense hosts, and I'm really nervous. What should I do? It's totally normal to feel nervous in that kind of situation. Just remember to breathe and try to focus on the conversation. Do you have any not questions? Not the people. <laughs> I do. Gemini. That's the most exciting. Gemini. Can you teach my friend Lance how to meet actual people? <laughs> of course. Meeting new people can be a bit daunting, but there are definitely ways to make it easier. First, yeah. I think sometimes about what feel Lance like I sometimes feel like the hosts are <laughs> losing interest in what I say. That's understandable. Sometimes conversations can drift. Maybe you could try asking them a direct question to bring them back in, or change the subject to something you know they're interested in. <laughs> Are you happy, Gemini? You've yes. killed one of the hosts. Je There's somebody lying at my feet. I think I bored them to death. What do I do? That's definitely alarming. First, <laughs> check if they're OK. If they're unresponsive, Call for help immediately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe Gemini does have a sense of it. For Lance's tips and more, go to our website. We'll be right back.